Hi, I'm Dan Whittaker. I'm here today to talk to you about um, a fault I see a lot of players trying to make when they're trying to get a little bit more on the inside. And what they end up trying to do in order to get their right elbow in the correct position, what they end up allowing this club face to do on the angle it's going to attack into the golf ball. So I've got the club here with the little tennis racket attachment onto it just to help you guys see what's happening to that club face on the way down. So one of the things I tend to see is from the top here is the guys who have obviously come over the top will generally have that right elbow going backwards which will steepen the golf shaft here. So first thing they're trying to do is obviously learn the correct sequencing from the ground up and then get the right elbow to move towards the front of that right hip. So what they first of all end up trying to do is as they get it in that position, they end up getting this face very wide open right here. So you can see this, this club face position is very, very open at this point. So what then happens is they stay in this position and through the golf ball, they, they're passed from the inside, but the club face is wide open. So because that golf club face is wide open, we know that the ball's going to start right, and, but even though the path is from the inside, the ball is just going to go through the right, so they end up hitting a push cut. So then because they can't get the club to square itself up, even though the path is now very, very good, what they end up doing is very often a little bit about it over the top to try and square that club face back up again this isn't something that the top players are doing okay what they're tending to do is from this top of the backswing the right elbow will go forwards but what they'll do is they'll have the golf shaft loading against the index finger of the right hand so the golf shaft is loading itself backwards against that index finger the palm is never looking up the palm is starting to trace a line down towards the golf ball so the club face will be around 90 degrees at half you know, when it's kind of parallel to the feet right here. Then what can then happen is, as the golf shaft is loading against the index finger, the club, the, um, the right palm will look at the ground in front of the golf ball, which will then mean that the club face can be square. So in this pre-delivery position here, we'll get the golf club face looking at the golf ball. Now, a lot of guys who are trying to get it from the inside tend to still be in this position here, and that right very much get it through impact where this right palm is looking at the sky which is adding loft and meaning the ball's going a long way to the right it's also a big killer for a lot of people who end up flipping it so what they'll end up doing is they'll have the golf club in a good delivery position right here and then flip through impact to try and square the golf club because they can't square it because they've only ever hit it to the right it's only because they don't have the club working down in the correct position so one thing you want to try and feel is as you get to the top right here, you feel that right elbow moving forwards, is make sure that that right palm almost feels like it's looking down towards the ground a little bit, just into this pre-delivery position right here. I'm not talking at the ground at halfway here, because obviously that will have a very closed club face and will therefore get the ball moving off to the right. Okay. One thing you want to be aware of is as that right elbow moves forwards this way, Okay, it's not forwards in this manner, it's just forwards towards the front of the um, right hip. It's not going towards the belly button because that will have the face so open and the arms in a very funky position relative to the body, which is almost just as bad or more disastrous than the over the top position. So it's making yourself, making sure that, that elbow goes forward whilst you're making this transition to get it from the inside but um, you can have it where that right elbow doesn't have to be super flexed, it can be slightly straighter, okay? And at this point here before it comes into delivery, or just, just before it's actually going straight to the back of the golf ball, we'll see that the leading edge will be very similar angle to my spine. This means it's gonna be nice and square. So as I rotate through, everything is working through on the correct angle to try and square the golf club. You can see there on the screen with a few players I was showing that that club face is coming in at that angle. If you are getting it wide open, it's very, very difficult to be able to square that club without using some heavy form of manipulation, flipping at it or something like that. So you want to make sure that you are aware of where it's going to be into delivery right here. So, because you'll see all the top players from this position here, it won't be changing. You see a lot of players will have it open there and they'll be trying to flash flip it at the bottom while having to do a lot of work in order to try and get that golf club to square. 
want to make sure that you're making the right sequencing on the way down that when you're trying to get that club to come from the inside right here it's able to come from the inside but therefore that the club face is just naturally squaring and be aware of the pressure of the golf shaft against that index finger the more you feel it against the index finger the more pressure you'll apply it's a lot easier then to get the correct amount of shaft lean at impact you aren't pressuring the shaft with your index finger you're feeling the shaft loading against it okay huge difference you'll feel the shaft is pushing against it but not that you are firing it away firing it away will only add loft and change the direction and orientation of this club face I hope you've enjoyed this video please uh, like or follow me on facebook and twitter below both of the links please subscribe to my youtube channel i've got a lot more content coming your way which i think is going to be very exciting if you'd like to have some online lessons with me which are available please go to my website that's also below and uh, you can sign up for those there if you'd like to see me in person i go to america periodically and i'm based at also at altrincham driving range in cheshire please get in touch i'd love to help you with your game hope these videos are useful for you and i very much look forward to speaking with you again very soon